Halito, it's your brother YK The Truth. And I'm gonna show you that Corey Mayo is a scammer. He's a scammer. And he's probably more Indian than the people, the black people, that he's pushing this indigenous American pseudo history to. I'm gonna show you that he's a scammer and all he does is cherry pick in these books information and leave out valuable key information. I'm gonna show you step by step how it's done. I'm gonna show you in this video that he's a scammer. He only wants your money, he only wants your bread. Okay? He only wants to rob you. He don't care about this history. He don't believe half of the things he say. So let's get it. For one, he uses colorized images. He has this software where he colorizes a lot of pictures of real indigenous American people. Even look. And he lighten the picture up. This is what this guy does. He uses this fucking photo, what's the name, and start lighting the picture or darkening the pictures up. Look, he used the same goddamn picture. Look, you are a fucking writer, Karimio. And he make them black. So he can have you believe that you descend from these people. His biggest consumer are black people who do not know how to do proper research. So they believe because he's sharing books, ancient books and books from the 1800s that he's given legitimate information about history. Not knowing that all he does is go to the search bar into the word he's looking for and use that information. But if you watch the movie Creed, when he was fighting a dude in the beginning, he noticed a weakness in the way he was fighting. He, he noticed that he kept leaving his side open. Every time he threw a punch, Curry Mayo left a weakness in his armor. And he failed to realize that he showed his weakness. And his weakness is this. All of those books that are on archive, you can do the same exact thing. You could go to every last one of his sources and you can type in yourself, African, Indian, or whatever you want to look for. And I guarantee you, you're going to find information in his sources that do not agree with what he is saying. There they blended with the far larger population of African slaves dodged a hijack, which had grown dramatically in the late 17th and early 18th centuries with the expansion of the Atlantic slave trade, dodged the hijack. I'm going to show you all throughout this video that his sources do not agree with him. As much as he tries to make the Negro the Indian, his sources continue to oops upside his head, beat him upside his head continuously, showing him that Negroes are not Indian. But he still believes and teaches that Negroes are Indians. Cootie Mayo. And the only reason why I call you Cootie 
is because you're scared to come out of your echo chamber. You're scared to come outside. So you stay safe on your channel. And you don't address the video. But the people will see you for what you really are in this video. So let's get it. Let's go. Osceola, for a moment, forgetting himself, broke out into a fierce passion. Listen to what he's going to say, guys. Am I a Negro? He said. A slave? I am an Indian. The white man shall not make me black. Don't make me black. Why would they make him black if he didn't look dark-skinned? Why would they call him a Negro? Why would they call him a slave? I thought only Africans were the slaves. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. When I say he cherry picks his own information. Now, this is his own article. And what he did was went to the right. And he left out all of this information right here. Okay. They're talking about now you see that he's going to go over here, but he's not going to read this part. He leaves he intentionally leaves out this information. I want you aboriginals to follow this video. Learn his ways so you will not be continue to be scammed. Okay? It says, in 1821, Florida was ceded to United States. Immigrants began to pour in who demanded possession of the land lands, it's white people. The Indians were estimated at about 4,000 men, women, and children with 800 Negro slaves. Okay? So automatically, right there, for anybody that keeps saying Negroes are Indians. They're not. They would call them Indians, not Negro slaves. So the Indians had Negro slaves. But did Cody Mayo, Curry Mayo, read that part of the video? No. He intentionally went to the other part of the video. Now, we're going to stop right there, right? With the context of what I just showed to you before that they had, Indians had Negro slaves. Remember the part that Curry Mayo left out? Right. You see how it's a, it has a different context now? When you, when you cherry pick, you give it a different context because you leave out information are you paying attention aboriginals pay attention to the scam all right osceola for a moment forgetting himself broke out into fierce passion forgetting himself what does that mean forgetting himself am i a negro he said, a slave. I wonder why. Doesn't history say that Osceola was mixed? Wasn't Osceola mixed? So, of course, the white man is going to make him black. That's what they did. If you had any type of African ancestry in you. But Osceola wasn't, wasn't having that because he didn't want to be Negro. He wanted to ride the Indian wave. This is what they did back then. I am an Indian. The white man shall not make me black. I will make the white man red with blood. So he was so angry at the white man for showing him that he was a Negro because the Indians had the more status than a Negro. So why would I want to consider myself 
a Negro. Follow the scam. Let's follow the scam. And there's more to come. Let's go. It's the Lucayan or the Bahama Islands, all right? So where does it say these were Africans? Now, here's another one of his videos of cherry picking. Cherry picking for black people. But black people can't seem to be smart enough to notice when they're not talking about them. I guess black people don't know what's on their heads without going to the weave shop. I guess black people don't know these things and they or they just act like he's not saying these things or he probably won't even read that. He's probably just going to read this. The Aboriginal people of the Bahamas, the Lucayans, discovered by Columbus, were a tall, graceful, dark-skinned race of barbarians. That's what he probably going to play. And stop right there. Well, why do you why do you believe that, YK? What makes you think that he's not going to read the rest of it? I'm going to tell you why. Look what he has highlighted. He made sure he highlighted the words dark skinned race because he knows this is what black people want to hear. What's their main argument? What do you what do you say for all the documentation, i.e. like the Christmas Columbus like journal? That would say that, you know, when they came up on arrival, they already seen colored folks without help. You know what I'm saying? They looked just like us. It was if, you know, they didn't know where they was in because they seen a continent or a land full of brown, black people. There were people of color already here. So he's going to leave out this part. Columbus well described them. All of them go as naked as they came into the world. Their forms are gra graceful, their features good, their hair as coarse as a horse's tail. <laughs> Cut short in front, worn long around their shoulders. Worn long upon their shoulders. How many black people you know with hair like horse, like a horse's tail? You don't see that highlighted. This is Corey Mayo's scam, sham. You've been robbed. You have been duped. Keep sinning your donations to get cherry picked information. You're getting cherry picked information off the tree while he's deliberately keeping away from you the African information that are inside those same books. There they blended with the far larger population of African slaves dodged a hijack. That's what's um that's what's dangerous is that the very books he's using tells you who you are. But he wants you to believe, <clears throat> excuse me, that you're Indian. Because some Indians had dark skin. When I can show you Indians with dark skin, and guess what? They don't look like you. They are dark. They are. They have pigmentation. But they do not look like you. Their, their hair doesn't look like yours. It's not nappy like yours. So... I know as much as you want to believe you're an Indian, you're not. It's cap.
Let's keep going. So, this is how it's done. This is how we expose Corey Mayo as a scammer. He is a scammer. Okay? Now, let's click it. History of America. No, let's do history of Virginia. History of Virginia. Right? I'm going to show you how it's done. See this? This is how you do it. This is how you do it right here. This is the chink in his armor where he will always have weak scholarship. And this is why he can never come outside and get smoked because he will get smoked. This is why he stays in his echo chamber. Now, you could go in these books and you could type whatever you feel free, right? You could type in African, right? You could type it in. Let's put in Negroes. Oh, there you go. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. This is how it's done. Follow me. I'm giving y'all some jewels. Like these is diamonds. Don't let these people come on here and scam you. Right? History in Virginia. So here get a book, right? That's from 1851. So you're like, oh man, this book right here got to be telling the truth. Right? All you got to do is press it. Hold on. Let's go back. Press it. Blow it up. And see what it says. Introduction of Negro slavery. Almost simultaneously with the birth of free government came the curse of African slavery in August 1619. Intercourse with Indians. You see? This is how this this is how it's done. Okay? Let's go back. So you got all of this information on Internet Archive. So if he shares a book with you, go to that book. Use that book. Type in African. Type in Negro. And it's going to show you that Negro and Indian are not the same. Simple debunk. Let's keep going. Now, here's another one of Corey Mayo's sources. Indian slavery in colonial times. And another part he failed to mention in his video. All right. This statement lies in the fact that Indian slaves are directly mentioned in certain of the legislative acts of any given colony. Whereas other acts of the same colony specify slaves, Negroes, and other slaves, or Negro and mulatto slaves. In one colony, let me repeat that, one. Because y'all love to take one thing and then make it like it was done everywhere. It says in one colony, Virginia, the term mulatto was made to include Indians by the act of 1705. I wonder why. Let's see what the laws of Virginia say. Mahometans or other infidels shall at any time purchase any Christian servant nor any other except of their own complexion, except of their own complexion or such as are declared Jews by this act. And if any Negro, mulatto, or Indian, Jew, more. So this is for all of you who want the, the Negro to be the, the more. 
You want the Negro to be the Hebrew? Shabbat shalom. Israel and Gentiles join the tours. Once again, my name is Brother and Elder Yaikwa, Ban Gad, Ban Yasharala. I like to always tell you, which means I'm from the tribe of Gad and from the nation of Israel. The Jew, the Maw, this is Corimeo. This is Corimeo. And if any Negro, mulatto, or Indian, Jew, Moor, Mohammedan, or any other infidel, or such are declared slaves by this act, shall notwithstanding purchase any Christian white servant. You see this? And if any person having such Christian servant shall intermarry with any such Negro, mulatto, or Indian, Jew, Moor. This video debunks these claims. Curry Mayo thinks the Jew is the, the Indian. He thinks the Indian is the Negro. He thinks A1 thinks the Moor is the Aboriginal Indian. Why? Do you see how ridiculous you sound? According to history, these people knew who was who. You just got beat up with your own sauce. Let's keep going. Which provided that the child of an Indian should be deemed accounted, held, and taken to be a mulatto. So in one colony, we see that. It was part of the universal law of slavery in the southern colonies that a slave should not be allowed to testify against a white person in the courts. South Carolina, by the Act of 1712, 1722, and 1735, permitted Negroes and other slaves. Why would you say that? Permitted Negroes and other slaves. What other slaves? Hmm. Let's get to it, Abos. What other slaves? To testify in the trial of any slaves of accused of specified crimes and offenses. Certain of the colonies, by express provision, <clears throat> excuse me, forbade. There it go. There it goes. Indian slaves. So is a Negro an Indian? Why did they just say Negro slaves? If Negroes is Indians. It said forbade Indian slaves to give testimony in a trial of whites. North Carolina declared that all Negroes, mulattoes, bond and free to the third generation and Indian serve. Why well, didn't say Negro servants? And Indian servants and slaves shall be deemed to be taken as persons and capable in law to be witnessed in any case, whatever, except against each other. We could keep going on and on and on. Your own sources do not agree with you. Curry Mayo, you are a cherry picker. You are a scammer. Robbing and milking black people who hate themselves. African people who hate themselves. And you are prospering off of self-hatred. Just like the Asians who sell weaves and perm products. So black people could look more European. That's who you are, Curry Mayo. You're an enabler. You enable black people to continue to hate themselves because you have an inside hatred against Africa for whatever reason. Now, let's get to it. 1705 decreed that Papis recusants Convict Negroes, 
mulattoes, and Indian servants. There we go again. And Indian servants and others not being Christians shall be deemed and taken to be persons incapable in law to be witness in any case whatsoever. Maryland. And Maryland declared in 1717 that it would be dangerous to allow the evidence of any Negro, that means any Negro, that means a slave Negro, any Negro, mulatto or Indian slave. There we go again. These people knew who was who. But you know he left this out of the video, right? You know he didn't play this part in the video, right? Like I said, I can teach African history based on his or him cherry picking 1800 books. I could make at least 24 hours worth of footage off of the information I can share regarding African Negro history. He's a scammer. Let's continue. A History of Slavery in Virginia by James Curtis Bala. So we're back at History of Slavery in Virginia, right? And we want to know, is the Negroes the Indians? Because source after source after source tells us that the Negro and the Indian are not the same. Let's get it. So it says, this is Corey Mayo sauce. So by an act of 1682, the benefits of Christianity as a mode of securing freedom were definitely denied to all Negroes, mulattoes, hostile Moors, and Turks, and to such Indians as were sold by other Indians as slaves where original heathenism could be affirmed. Thus for a second time ending slavery, Indian slavery, and for the first time the slave trade by Indians were legalized. Indians owned African people as well. Indians owned so other Indians as well. This is your source, Corey Mayo. And according to your source, Negroes are not Indians. All right. The actual discrimination, however, was racial, as practically no Asiatics or Africans were born of Christian percentage, nor had they come from Christian lands. Possibly some Indians were saved from enslavement under the act. You see that? So clearly we know the Negro is not the Indian. So I just want to read uh, this article that was written uh, it's called making indians white the judicial abolition of native slavery now this is from his book right this is another one of his sources that i'm going to beat him up with making indians white and let's see what the indians did according to his source see i told y'all i could literally teach African history using all of Corey Mayo's cherry-picked articles and books. I can teach African history for days. Thank you, Corey Mayo, for giving me content because I'm going to use all of your cherry-picked books to show you that we was not already here, bro. This has to be the a major L to the so-called Aboriginal, Black Aboriginal community. 
because most of these um these channels they copy off of him. Let's keep it a buck. Aboriginal TV, you know you go over there. You done got caught using one of uh, Corey Mayo sources. And I expose you for that. This is a major L y'all got to hold. Now, let's get to it. It says, by contrast, Indians within English society, whether slave or free, were relegated to an undifferentiated underclass along with Africans and mixed race peoples. Okay. My grandfather, uh, he, uh, he passed away in 1960 and uh, I was born in 1947 mm -hmm. and, and uh, he married, uh, the, the, it was a, uh, he married, uh, the, the, it was a, a, uh, about the, the, a black about the, the, a black woman black woman and they had one child which was my mother where their race denied them legal privileges of whiteness consigned to increasingly marginal economic importance amid the ever expanding numbers of african slaves enslaved natives Blended into the plantation's black community. Okay. Their presence created a mixed race culture that diverged from the law's neat racial, racial categories. These Indians descendants no longer represented a sup supposedly pure native culture but many of them retain communal memory of their roots that will prove invaluable in their later struggles for freedom. Now, my question is this, right? If we was already here and you ain't got no African in you, why is all of this information that Curry Mayo sharing tells you that you have African ancestry. And we know why in certain areas of the South, you have blacks who have predominantly more native ancestry than other. This is why you take a DNA test and this is why DNA backs history. So why are you so ashamed to be of African descent when Corey Mayo sources are telling you that you are an African. I don't get it. I don't get the stupidity that's running around in this community with black people talking about I'm not African American. Even if you, even by default, Based on the references that Curry Mayo is sharing, you would have to be African and part American. You have African ancestry and American Indian ancestry, according to the sources that he keeps sharing. How do you think these people are able to classify you the way they did if you weren't interracially intermingling with African people. You have to hold this L. Nobody can expose this information right here. This is what it is. So why does Cootie Mayo still desperately try to make the Negro the Indian. Why don't he say out his mouth that the Negro is the African, but was mistakenly sometimes being classified as the Negro, but the Negro are African people? Why not say that? Isn't that honest? Isn't that being honest to say that? The Negro, the Indian was misclassified sometimes. 
but we know who the Negro was. That way, African people won't, black people won't misconstrue thinking that they're Indian. Just because Indians were misclassified as Negro. That's the dishonesty in it. That's the whole scam right there. Rewind that back and let it soak into your conscience. That's the scam right there. Because some Indians were misclassified as Negro, that means all Indians were Negroes? When all throughout history we know who the Negroes are? But let's keep going. A so-called black man and a Caribbean to die for pearls. We've actually going to see, you know, there's no history of any so-called uh, person that actually was born in Africa, that ended up in Venezuela, that actually was brought to Bermuda. Here goes another one of his sources. History of slavery in Virginia. This is for all of y'all who say Africans never came here. The, um, um, Americans were already here. Black people was already here. The slave trade was a hoax. You can't bring people across the ship. Now it says, this is Corey Mayo sauce. You love him. It says, the island colonies of England, lying in the path of West India commerce, was naturally the first of her foreign possessions to receive importation of Africans. And during the 17th century, they were the chief regions outside of the Spanish West Indies supplied by the slavers. Do you see that? Now we're going to go over here. <laughs> this is a body bag. Because he was saying that um, there were no Africans brought to Bermuda. There were no Negroes brought to Bermudas. Now, this is his own source. And it beat up him saying that no Africans were brought to Bermuda. But he's so dumb and ignorant that he didn't even know it was in the same damn book. Here it goes. The introduction of the Negro as a profitable labor supply in the English as in the Spanish colonies was the result of deliberate commercial design. A London mercantile company, the company of the Summers Island, sent in 1660 one of its trailing, trailing ships to the West Indies for products such as sugar cane, which is hoped to introduce, which it hoped to introduce into the Bermudas. And for Negroes to dive for pearls. The first Negro together with an Indian. <laughs> together with an Indian and West Indian products were brought back late in the summer of that year. The relation of the Negro to the profitable Cultivation of sugarcane was discovered and fresh importations were made. Let's keep going. The result of his voyage was a cargo of Negroes, which it returned to Virginia in the fall of 1619. So, Cherry picking, gone wrong. Africans. History of slavery in Virginia. This is a clear body bag. It's clear. I can teach African history off of the cherry picking of curry mayo. There they blended with the far larger population of African slaves dodged a hijack. 
which had grown dramatically in the late 17th and early 18th centuries with the expansion of the Atlantic slave trade. Dodge the hijack. Caught red-handed. You have been caught red-handed. Cherry-picking. You can't say dodge the hijack. No. You got to take every information that comes out of that article. You can't go shopping for information and say shit like dodge the hijack. You can't do it. You got to take that whole article and you got to hold that L. See, this is what pretendians love to do. They love to go to these books, cherry pick information and put their own twist and context and spin on it and then deny all of the other evidence. Like you just shot yourself in the leg. There they blended with the far large population of African slaves, which have grown dramatically in the late 17th and early 18th centuries with the expansion of the Atlantic slave trade. This is your source, you idiot. This is your source. When will I, you will never find me having a source saying something different than what I'm claiming. If I believe the Atlantic slave trade never happened and there are no Africans here, I'm not going to give you an article that says it's true. This is how idiotic these people are. This is how foolish these people are. And then for you to say things like dodge the hijack, no, you're hijacking. You're making my people be culture vultures. Who do you work for? You don't even want me to tell you what should happen to you. You don't want me to say what should be done to you for the crimes you are committing against African black people because of their self-hatred. You don't look nothing like them. You are probably more native than they are, but you want, and you don't look like them, but you want them to believe that you are them. Your hair doesn't look like theirs. Your skin doesn't look like theirs, but you want them to believe that they are you and you are them. And you want to say, stop the hijack? When you are hijacking the minds of black people for a dollar. And you know what you're doing because you won't come outside. You feel comfortable in your echo. Can anybody hear me? Is there anybody there? But when you got to come out and have your information critiqued, you're nowhere to be found. That's why I call you Cootie Mayo, because you Cootie. You don't want to know what I think should happen to you. I think you should be dropped from the tallest building. Literally. I think you should go play in traffic. Respectfully. Find the most busiest highway in your area and run for it. This is what I feel about you. Because you're a liar, for one. You cherry pick these books to create a narrative and fabricate a narrative that don't even exist. But just like our people give money to 
Jesus, have a white Jesus on a wall, have um, weaves on their head, bleach their skin. We have learned and been conditioned to hate who we are. It's simple. This is why these preachers can come into the community and make millions and millions of millions of dollars off of the ignorance of history alone. Anybody that knows history knows that the Bible is not for us. But I digress. But I showed you in this video. Let's keep going. Well, uh, my grandfather, uh, he, uh, he passed away in 1960. And uh, I was born in 1947. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, he married, uh, the, the, it was a, a, about the, the, a black woman, and they had one child, which was my mother. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had a chance to meet him, and, and uh, because I was I was a young fellow when he passed away, and he was kind of a quiet man. He didn't hardly say anything, and and now it's coming clear as why he was so quiet, because what happened to his people, because what happened to his people. Mm -hmm. And uh, did he talk to you? about your heritage? No. Yeah, uh, I used to ask my mother, I said, why is my grandfather so quiet? He, he never had much to say. Mm -hmm. And it's coming pretty clear to me as why why he was so quiet. Because at that time, they did not talk about being Indians because right. you could be jailed, correct? Exactly. Right. There, was, there was a lot of uh, uh -huh. a bad things that could have happened to you if you were native and if you were caught off the reservation. In some cases, you could be shot on sight. All right, so let's stop. So let's stop it right there, right? This man is a mixed person. He has one ancestor that's an Indian, okay? His mother was black. She had African ancestry. This is why they said, when we look at you, right? She said it. She said, we would consider you an African-American. This clearly proves why they were putting those Indians and classifying them as Negroed. Negro. Could you, could you imagine a white man? looking at him and he comes to this white man and he says, white man, I'm an Indian. Where do you think he's going? You can have native ancestry, but can you prove it? This was the issue. But now that we have DNA testing, you can prove these things. How much native ancestry you have. See, we don't have to go through this anymore. We don't have to cherry pick 1700s books. We don't have to pick and choose the information we want to share with the people and the information we want to leave out. We don't have to say, well, they classified us with the Racial Integrity Act in the 1900s, even though they knew who were Negro and Indian people all throughout history. You don't have to do that anymore. You can take, you can go and get your ass a DNA test. That's it. Misclassify my ass. This is 2023. We have the technology to find out if you're an Indian or not. We got cars that fly, that drive themselves. We got satellites. We have 
so much science. The other day I seen they solved the murder based on tree DNA. They knew the tree that was in the back. They knew a piece of the tree that fell off in the car. And they knew exactly the tree. In 1992, in Arizona, Dr. Tim Helen Jarris pushes the limits of forensic botany in the murder investigation of Denise Johnson. The only evidence are two Palo Verde seed pods found in the back of Mark Bogan's truck, who remains the only suspect. Helen Jarris must extract DNA material from the pods to see if he can genetically match it to a tree where the victim's body was found. And they solved the murder using tree DNA. And you're telling me they can't trace your DNA when DNA is just information that tells who you are? It's information. So why can't, if DNA can tell you your cousins and all that other stuff and your parents, why can't we go further? You know, you say it can't be done but you don't prove how it can't be done. Simple. This man has mixed ancestry. I've never said anything. There's anything wrong with having mixed ancestry. I never said we don't have native. I did my DNA test. I got 2%. But what I, what I will tell you is that we was not already here. I will tell you that the slave trade really happened. I will tell you that I have ancestors that come from Africa and majority of my DNA is from Africa, not America. I will not tell you that. I proved it. Curry Mayo is a scammer. He wants your money. He wants your donations. He's a scammer. My thing is this. If the people donate to you, let them donate. But at least give them the proper information. Don't cherry pick books. So this is the conclusion of this video, man. It's ignorant. Self-hating black people is Curry Mayo's target market. Those who hate being of African ancestry and want to be anything else, an Indian, a native, they, are, they acknowledge the European in them. But when it comes to being an African, there's a problem. And this dude is a problem. And I showed you how to avoid being scammed. Search in that archive bar. Search his books. Uh, if, you're, if you're an Aboriginal and you stumble across this video and you're one of Curry Mayo's followers, Question. Y'all taught to go against to question everything, right? So I want you to question his work. Go in those books. If this is really about truth and you really want to know who you are, go in those books and type in African Negro, and it's going to show you that his own sources don't agree with him, and he has absolutely nothing. That his whole channel is based on cherry picking. Google the word cherry picking. Understand these terminologies. So you won't continue to fall victim to the scam. Understand that you can't pick and choose the information. You got to take it all. You can't say the author is right about one thing and he's wrong about another. You can't do that. If you're saying he's right in history with this, 
He has to be right in history about that. You can't say things about like dodge the hijack. You can't do it. It's disingenuous. So it's your brother YK The Truth. Thumbs up the video. Share this video. I showed you how the scam is done. I could teach, I could literally teach African history based on the hundreds of books and sources that Curry Mayo shared. I can make tons of videos using his sources to teach African history. That's how much of your history is in his books. But he won't teach you about that. He would just tell you about dark-skinned Indians. Or they were swarthy. But he won't tell you the rest. So it's your brother, YK The Truth. And I'm out. Peace.